Well, hello boys and girls. I hope you're doing well. MacOS Big Sur has been released. Okay, it's 2020 and we're in November. This replaces macOS Catalina that was released in 2019 in October. So it looks like Apple is on schedule. They are releasing the operating systems, uh, updates to the operating systems. They are giving us a new operating system every 12 months, every year or so. But I ran into a little issue as, as you shall see. My issue was macOS Pixel could not be installed. The, the message just popped up real quick right there. Uh, let me go back so you can get a better so it says your Mac needs a firmware update to install to this volume please select a Mac OS extended general volume instead so I was trying to install Mac OS Big Sur on my 2017 MacBook Air that's that's the unit that I was using for testing out this Big Sur and that this is the error message that I got your Mac needs a firmware update to install to this volume. Please select a Mac extended journal instead, uh, volume instead. So to get around this or to fix this issue, you actually have to format the, the drive, but it's a MacBook Air and it comes with an SSD drive. So why would I be doing Mac OS ex extended journal? The Mac OS extended journal works fine with hard drives, but for SSD drives, I recommend the APFS, which is the Apple file system. That is what I would recommend. So, what you'd have to do is to turn off the computer, right? And after you turn off the computer, you're going to press the following keys Command Option R. So, press Command Option R. On the next screen, you're going to see the options. You're going to see this utility options and uh, reinstall from Time Machine. And on that screen, then what you do is you're going to select the uh, disk utility and then format as APFS and then try and reinstall your microOS Big Sur. So it's just a formatting issue. Format the drive as APFS. So you have uh, uh, formatted the SSD drive or your hard drive is. Uh, as an IPFS partition or microOS extended, whatever it is that you've selected. Uh, I did a PF, a PFS partition just because of um, uh, this is an SSD drive and it works best with uh, APFS. If it was a regular hard drive, then I could go with the microOS extended. So this is the screen that you're going to come to. So you're going to, after you're formatted, you're gonna go command option R and then you're going to get to this screen. This is to say macOS utilities, but this is now how it looks like in macOS Big Sur. And we're going to select macOS Big Sur. And just hit continue. And then to set up the installation of macOS Big Sur, I click continue, and then you're just gonna hit continue right here. do that a few times uh, okay the screen is not very visible I think it's just a bad camera angle and so but this is continue on this side and agree I have read the license agreement yeah agree and then just select the drive that you'd like to install to I'm installing on this drive that says uh, title then it's a uh, 128 gig SSD and just click next and then it says 40, 44 minutes remaining but I'm sure it's gonna be quicker than that it just depends on the speed of your Wi-Fi connection right well I hope this has been beneficial to you if it has been beneficial please consider subscribing to the channel see you soon ta-ta you win!